I'm going to show you a recipe for a beautiful summer tart that you're going to absolutely love making. So to start, I've got my homemade pastry and you can get the recipe for that on our channel. And I've taken it out of the refrigerator about 20 minutes before I wanted to roll it. That just makes it easier to roll. A little bit of flour and then I'm just going to roll it out. If you roll it directly onto your baking paper, that's just easier so you don't have to lift it up when you come to wanting to bake it. I want a rectangle roughly 35 by 35. So now I'm going to just trim the edges, keep the extra pastry that you've trimmed. You can pop it in the freezer and make lovely caraway straws with it. We'll show you in another recipe. So I'm going to place that onto my baking sheet, like so. And then with a fork, I'm just going to fork holes all over the pastry. Now I'm going to put my slow cooked sweet onions. You can get the recipe on our channel under sweet onion tart right up to the edges. So that's my onion base. Now my oven roasted tomatoes. You can get the recipe on our channel. It's looking beautiful already. This is a great recipe for picnics, packed lunches, or as a centerpiece if you've got people coming over. I've got my Kalamata olives, which I've pitted. You can use any olives you like. I'm just gonna put them on top like that. Some dried wild oregano. And finally to garnish, I've got some lovely flowering thyme branches. So I'm now gonna put the whole tart in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, and I'm gonna preheat the oven to 200 degrees. I'm gonna bake it really hot for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna carry on for another 20 minutes until it's golden brown at 180 degrees. My tart has baked up beautifully. It smells amazing. There's lovely crisp layers of pastry. You're gonna love making this recipe. Thanks so much for tuning in, especially to all our subscribers. I'll see you again next week.